everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft and thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is another fun fold card for my Creative Card Series 2018. Hope you're enjoying it so far um, and thank you for all the lovely comments that I've been receiving. So today's card is what looks like a normal gatefold card but this is a gatefold easel fold card. So it's got two cards in one. I love an easel card and I love a gatefold card so I put them together. So I've got this gorgeous little belly band, fussy cut, um, this little birthday cake. I've got this nice little topper that I've put together. Gorgeous papers, I'll show you the paper pack in a minute. So you just slide the belly band off and then open it up. These bits fall down and then your easel piece in the middle comes up like so. So if I lift this up, just bring it a bit closer, that is how it looks. And I think it's rather cool. And then you can have your message here. You can pop it on here if you want to. And yeah, I think it looks great. So it's all on foam, so there's lots of dimension inside. So we've got this nice little spine on the side there, one eighth of an inch. So it just takes off that bulk and gives you a really nice finish. And then it just sits perfectly in its little belly band. So you can pop this in an envelope if it's in a five by seven. Um, and once you know how to make this, you can easily adapt it to any size that you want. So the papers I'm using are these ones. Absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. Again, I do that kind of like rub them, you know, when you get a nice new paper pack. So um, yeah, this is the Let's Celebrate by First Edition. I used it on those fab um, gift boxes that I made a couple of weeks ago. And um, yeah, just absolutely adore it. So I used, um, which ones did I take this time? It was... Yeah, fussy cut from this sheet here. Um, that's the big cake that I used inside and then I fussy cut the little ones. Um, oh no, sorry, yeah, there's the big one and the little one there. And then the other papers are this one here where you get those lovely birthday cake, um, birthday candles and then that kind of little spotty print on the back. So I think I'm gonna get the six by six and the eight by eight of these because these are timeless for me. Some of these, I mean, the buntings and things like that are just brilliant. So yeah, that's what we've used. So let's get straight into the video and crack on and make it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you first of all on this plain white piece of paper because I've already actually cut into the cardstock I'm using. So you'll need a piece of 12 by 10 and a quarter and scoring along the 12 inch side, you wanna score at seven and nine and a half. Then rotate your card so it's now on the 10 and a quarter side and you want to score at two and a half just down to that first score line then two and five eighths so the score line directly after that one so you've got two very close together and then go across to five and um, seven and five eighths just down to that first score line and again seven and three quarters so the score line directly after Okay, and then actually what you want to do is that two and, sorry, because I'd already cut my piece, so I'm just trying to work backwards. So the two and five eighth of an inch piece, you want to actually score that all the way down. And the seven and five eighth of an inch line, you want to score that all the way down. Okay, so just repeat that piece. So you've got the two and a half, that score line, you're just scoring to the first score line along here. The next one, which is your two and five eighths, you're scoring all the way down. Then across to your seven and five eighths, you're scoring all the way down. And then your seven and three quarters, you're just scoring to that first score line. Okay, so that is all of the scoring done. Then what you will need to do is just burnish the score lines. So this is just a rough bit of paper I'm using here, just so you can see. You won't be able to do those second ones because you don't want to score or you don't want to burnish it all the way down. So just burnish the line that goes all the way down. Leave this second one here, don't worry about that. And then you just want to cut, so you'll have these three sections. Cut up that score line all the way up to that score line. So you've gone past this one just up to that one and then cut that whole piece out. Make sure it's nice and neat because this will be the one of the, the gate fold pieces. And then again, this one here, all the way down, and again, cut that piece out. So now you have these other score lines, which you can now very carefully just pinch between your finger and your thumb just to create 
that tiny tiny little one eighth of an inch spine and again on the other side like so and then what will happen is this is at the top this is our now easel piece and then that will drop down on each side and then when you flatten it that will go inside and then your gatefold will close like so with our belly band okay so that is now where you should be I'm now going to join in let me just move this with what I had already cut and prepared so actually I'll bring in my school board again so I can go through all the sizes for you so this is my just get rid of all of this so there's my piece the same as what you've got now two pieces there and then that one folds in like so so we're both in the same part there then you'll need this piece which is going to mat inside the main bit there and that is four and three quarters by six and three quarters then you will have I'll go through the topper in a minute this piece here is to decorate the front of that easel piece so this is what we see that piece is four and three quarters by two and a quarter and then you will need four pieces to decorate the outside and inside of your panels so these are my outside pieces they're all the same so it doesn't matter it's just so I know where I am so two and a quarter by six and three quarters you need four pieces so those are going on the outside of my door like so and then on the inside are the other two pieces there it's just I flipped over my print I wanted to make sure it's all in the right direction so yeah two and a quarter by six and three quarters four pieces then for your topper when this piece is folded down here whatever goes on can't go past this this is four and a half inches if I remember rightly sorry it's five inches you want something that's about four and a half or four and three quarters but whatever it is it doesn't have to go flush with the bottom piece here so you just want to make sure it stays within that five inch width okay so when it comes up it's going to obviously stand but when it closes it doesn't stick out the top when we get to that I'll explain it in more detail but for now let's get rid of all of this start sticking it all together so the main card base is again it's all easy it's just it's just fun isn't it? it's just another nice thing to do so I'm just going to bring in my glue and first of all I'm going to stick down this one so I mean that print does look really good this is when I end up changing all my prints around again do I now go for that with that and that see I can't hear what you're saying now but you'll be watching this going oh yeah I prefer that or do I stick with that with that and then them I don't know <laughs> okay I am I'm going to go for that instead I think that's too nice with all those um, candles so I'm going to stick this that's it I'm going for it I'm not going to change my mind so I'm just going to pop my Tombow all on the back here if you hear an ice cream van in a minute apologies because I can hear him slowly getting closer but I don't think you can hear him yet but I can imagine in a minute he's going to be very loud so you just want to stick that down you'll get a nice little border on all four sides and grab my bone folder and just go in and just spread out any glue then you want to stick down these two panels and stick down that panel and stick down your front panels okay you don't need to watch me do that that's what I will finish doing now okay so they have all been stuck down now it's all a bit bouncy at the moment you see and this isn't quite going down so what I'm going to do is just carefully fold it over on the other side so it will eventually just kind of fall into place more more but I just want to loosen up those sides a bit and then this one here just needs to be burnished a bit more crisper like so and burnish that top piece across there so now there you go look it all completely lies flat and that sits up so now this one here like I said you're better off sticking it down like that in that position I think I'm going to have mine flush with the mat here so it shows that pink little border so what I'm going to do is just roughly I'm just going to splodge some glue right to the top there but down 
just before the bottom there, just kind of go over it a little bit. I can see where I need to kind of stay with him. Fold it all flat and just eyeball, make sure you've got a nice even side, like so. So this here measures, my white die cut rectangle is four and a half by three and one eighth of an inch. These are part of a nesting set, so, and then this is two and three quarters by four and one eighth of an inch. Okay, and then that's that piece I fussy cut. So now that is gonna probably go just there, just above those second candles. So now I need to decide what I'm gonna put here, because I didn't wanna get to that point until I saw it all together, but so far I really, really am liking, and I wanna get some good pieces to go on the sides here as well. But now when that folds flat, you fold over your doors, that little spine that we've given it just just really does help. It doesn't squash it all together. And then, oh, I forgot to go through the belly band. The belly band is 12 by one and three eighths of an inch, but I'm now gonna change it over and have that side wrap around. And obviously I need something for the front as well. So I will be back shortly. Hi everybody, so it's now the next day. <laughs> I, um, I just wasn't feeling it, I don't know, I just couldn't really think about what I wanted to do in the middle, do on the sides, and so I just put it all to one side, didn't throw it away or you know get frustrated and anything like that. I just thought, right, you know what, I'm just gonna leave this and come back to it, um, and I'm glad I did because I'm much, much happier with what I'm doing now. So, what I went ahead and done is, I have, so we were up to this piece without this and this here. So if I just bring it up here, you can see I've just die cut two little um, one inch circles and then I've die cut a tiny little flower and then I've put a little um, sequin on each one. And these are what I'm using as my stopper. So they are the bits that the easel section sits against. And then I've just die cut a oval circle with this other one that sits on top and then I've just heat embossed, heat embossed, heat embossed birthday greetings there. And it just seems to tie in much better. And then I was playing around with things to do on the side panels here. And do you know, I just, I love this paper so much. I'm actually just gonna let the paper do the talking. And I have cut down two more panels which sit in there. And I don't know, I just think that looks really, really nice. So these ones here measure um, two by six and a half and they're gonna go there. And then what I also went and done is I fussy cut another smaller of the um, tiered little birthday cake there. And then I've just, on foam, I've matted them, um, layered them, sorry, on top of the same two die cuts that I've done here. And this is gonna go on the belly band on the front there. And I think that looks really nice again. So I'm gonna get these two panels quickly stuck down. So, you know, I just wanted to show that you know, I do these videos and stuff and obviously they're edited and I, I keep in funny bits or if I make a mistake and it's something that when I change it up or save it and it's worth showing you guys as like a tip or something, then I do. Otherwise, the stuff I really edit is just this sticking or a lot of cutting. You know, you don't need to watch me do that. It just takes up your time, my time editing. It's just easy to just get rid of it. So, um... Yeah, yesterday I just uh, went and enjoyed the sun, had a glass of wine <laughs> instead, left the card making. So, okay, and just stick that one down there. So I've already stuck everything else down. And I've got some nice embellishments here and these ones match perfectly. So I'm probably gonna add some of those in somewhere. And again, if I do decide that I'm gonna add something else here, I can. So yeah, I think that looks, loads better, I hope you agree, I just think that looks really quite nice, obviously it will sit there when it's flat, I'm just lifting it up and it's popping out, but it will be like so. So now we fold that one down flat, um, and also I have these two pieces here, which are gonna go underneath here. So that one is then gonna go on top for you to write your message. Now if you want to, you could have your message in this section here, because more than likely what will happen when this card is given, there, obviously it's going to be like that, and this is going to be closed like so. They're going to open it up, and they're going to go like that. So, I am still in two minds as to whether I pop my sentiment in this section. It will all fit nicely because I measured it all up, like so. Or whether I go down here. 
and then that will go and cover it. I'm just thinking if it's flat and then people come to look at it, they'll probably see it there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it in this bit here. But again, it just shows you know you pop it wherever you might want to put it right on the back there, but obviously you, you would see it before they kind of open it, I guess. So again, I'm just going to a bit of glue and just stick those two down in this section here. Okay, so that's now all nicely in place. So I'm gonna close this all down. Fold it all over because remember we've got that nice little one eighth of an inch um, spine there, so it all fits in nicely. Grab your belly band. So this was that piece of what did I say? It was one and well, I've just chopped mine down a little bit. It was one and a quarter, one and a half would be fine. It's entirely up to you. It depends on what your kind of topper is as well, and it's by twelve. And basically, you just want to pop it on the back first. Make sure it's all nicely lined up and just loosely wrap it around. I never score these, you don't need to. And just sit them across there. I'm gonna pop a bit of glue. This is just literally on its way out. Put a bit of glue there in the middle and then this is gonna go over the whole thing. I think that looks so cute. So I'm just gonna put more glue. Come on, get the last bit out for this card. And then I think it's going to have to be ditched. And then that one, again, just wiggle it around until it's all where you need it, like so. And then what you can do is take the belly band off and then you can just fold it. It's kind of hard because it's such a small little spine, but you can see that I can just kind of slide it one way and then the other way just to create that tiny little spine there. So again, if you just kind of roll it up and then roll it down, you'll be able to just squeeze it just to create that little bit there. And then you've got your nice belly band. So again, let's just pop that all back on there. It should just slide on nicely. You don't want it so tight that you can't get it on and off easily. Like so. So I'll just give you a close up. I think that looks rather fab, really nice. And this will fit in an envelope. So again, if you want to fit it, fit it in an envelope, it will be a five by seven, which is my favourite. So it will be a bit bulky. You'll have to pay a little bit extra for postage, but it will fit in. So once again, take your belly band off. And there is a really lovely gatefold easel card or easel gatefold card. I don't know, whatever. I think it works great. So... Hope you like this one. Hope you've enjoyed um, another card for my for this year's creative card series. And um, tune in for the next couple of days for another one. So as always, if you've enjoyed today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.